Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be a car themed painting, but not a Hot Wheels, which is all right. We don't have to do Hot Wheels. I'm not, I'm not an exclusive Hot Wheels type person. Um, I love Hot Wheels, but I also love Johnny Lightning and some of the other brands. Matchbox, maybe I'm not in love with them, but I got a crush on them. So, this one is a 1962 Chevy Bel Air. I think it was. Yes, Chevy Bel Air. As you can see, it's that big, nice muscle car. It's got the blue flames on it. You know I love flames. And it's got orange on it, which orange is my favorite color. So the thing with this one is, I've already, I already poured one for this. I did a blue background, and I wanted orange kind of tire tracks coming out. And it just didn't. It just wasn't up to my standards of keeping and putting a putting a car on it, resining it, and, and calling it a good piece. Um, it was all right, but it it just wasn't. I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. So I decided to paint over it, and I've been I put it off for a little bit. I've had a couple of commission pieces I've uh, been doing so. I came in tonight just to resin this big piece here. I got a big Dragon Ball Z one going on that I need to resin and, uh, tonight, which I'll be doing after this pour. And <clears throat> so I saw the car sitting there. I'd already taken it out of the package. And so it, I put it back in there just for to show you what it was and the, everything. But it looks even better out of the package. Oh, yeah. So it's a nice car nice car so anyway like i said i painted it so i'm actually painting over the canvas right now <clears throat> i've mixed the i've mixed my paints i've actually put on the base coat over the old the bad painting and i switched it up so the last one was a blue background with orange coming out. Well, now I've decided to go with a metallic orange and a little bit of just regular orange for the background. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to use a, a blue and some white and just do some flames out the back of it. And I think it'll turn out pretty good. Now the... I've already put the, like I said, I've already put the background on the color orange on it. And I just put the metallic orange on, which is a lighter orange. And then I had some, a little bit darker orange and I just put some streaks in and then I smoothed it out with the, with the, uh, palette knife and it has a really nice effect to it. Almost looks like a piece of wood. But uh, you'll see it here in a second when we get when we get to it. So I've already got all the paints mixed. So all I got to do is adjust the camera and we can get going. All right. So as, as you can see, I got the base paint on the, the metallic oranges. It's lighter orange, and then I put that orange in there and kind of smoothed it out, and it kind of has a grainy look to it. So I'm liking it, and you can see a little bit of the darkness kind of coming through in a few spots of the blue from the from the painting that was underneath this so it's got that on it and it's you can really see it on the sides but i'm not too worried about that really not really i mean i tried to cover it up as best i can but i'm not gonna fret over it too much so i got my paints here so we're gonna just start right in here we have quite a, quite a good bit save a little bit of that I have other blues if that doesn't work out we're gonna go with some white on there
might not even, I might even just leave it like that and not even do any touch up to it at all. That yeah, looks pretty cool right there. Put that car on there like that. Right in there. Got those little swirls right in there. Got some, some cells coming through. We'll give it some more heat. So I actually like this deep blue and the white. I just like that pattern. I, I like the pattern. I really do. I like the design of it. And I like the deep blues. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to mess with this one. I like a lot of these little cells right in here growing. I do think, well, I am going to do just one little thing. I'm going to put a little bit of blue here and just kind of, kind of get it. One little thing of blue there. Kind of just a hair of white. fancy just give it a little bit more blue right in there all right so uh, I'm liking that I'm hoping the white doesn't sink too much especially right in here um, where it has these lines going but I do like that I do like that a lot so well that didn't take long but We'll wait for this bad boy to dry. Hopefully it'll dry pretty much like this. And then we'll have another killer piece when we add the car to it. All right, this bad boy is dried. I love how it came out. I love that part in there. I love the orange. I'm in love with this one. All right, I'm using Pro Marine Resin. This is a 10 by 20 canvas. Now I have... The resin I'm using, I already told you that. <clears throat> the amount of resin I'm using, let's put it that way, is seven ounces. Now I found that on Art Resin Calculator. You can go there. It's a very useful tool to use because you can calculate how much resin you need for per canvas. They you just type in the size of the canvas and it tells you how many ounces of total resin. You have to remember that it's the total amount of resin that you need. All right. It is three and a half of the hardener and three and a half of the epoxy for this one. So this is what, uh, I figured up I, I do these enough that I didn't actually have to go to it tonight I did have to go to it tonight though for another canvas I'm doing a it's not really a show tomorrow an event I the Gilded Nest where I teach my class they invited me to come and just have a table a booth I guess you could say or a table with some of my paintings they got some stuff going on in the shop that day it'll be me and a two other artists and uh one i know the other one i have not met yet he does abstract art and then michelle that i know she's actually the one that told got me to kind of recruited me i guess is what i've been telling people to teach the class at the gilded nest she teaches classes there as well 
and so she'll be there as well so we'll just have a table set up in the back studio part of it and we can sell set up some paintings and sell them so that's what i'm doing tonight i actually decided to take some paintings that i haven't i don't take to my shows these are paintings that are odd shaped because i usually take well now i take my um my 10 by 20 uh, hot wheel ones and then i take uh eight by tens which i've always taken to shows because that's how i started out painting was doing eight by tens and so i had a lot of eight by tens so i take eight by tens and then i take 12 by 36s and some 12 by 24s with me and so i don't take these some odd shaped ones so i have a lot of them hanging just up in my studio some are just sitting up against the sitting on the floor up against the wall but so i have a painting over here which i'll just show you real quick right there it's a painting i did a long time ago it's a 12 by 16 which is a really odd size and uh so i'm resining that one as i resin this one so, but we'll finish this one up first. I wanted to get that one spread off so I could take the glove off and so I could use the torch. <clears throat> so anyway, it'll be, I'm just going to be there for like four hours. We'll just be there in the back and it'll be fun. I don't know if anybody will buy anything from us or, you know, how, how busy they are. I, it'll be a, it's a Saturday, tomorrow's Saturday. And uh, that's usually when I hold my class, is on Saturdays. And there are people in there that come in, so. But they're having an, uh, I think they call it a Santa's workshop or something. And you know, it's getting close to Christmas time, so hopefully people will want to buy unique gifts, hopefully buy art. They've been promoting it online so maybe they, you know, depends on how big of a following they have online. There might be some people that will show up to to buy some of our art. Um, I know I will sell at least one because one of the commission pieces I'm doing that I did um, for a guy, he is coming there to pick it up. So I'll at least sell one there. <laughs> but uh but i will be taking this one tomorrow morning that's why i want to get it done tonight maybe i might just keep this one i don't know uh, as you can tell i do like it a lot i like how it turned out and some of these this one and one other one but of course, I loved how I painted it, or how it turned out when I painted it, but it uh, it did the old paint slide on me overnight, and I lost it. But this one and that that one, I I was having a tough time deciding whether I wanted to even put a car on it. I just I just like the painting so much, but I am going to put the car on it.
So here we go with the car. So we're going to place that right there. So there you have it. Oh, that is just a sharp looking. I just love this right here. This dark purple or dark blue and the light blue and that white and those that design there. And of course I do love this back here. And then of course my favorite color is orange. So I love the orange and the metallic orange. And then I mixed in, of course, as you saw earlier in the video, I mixed in regular orange, a darker orange. And so it kind of gives it that texture to it. I love this piece. <sighs> this one may stay in my own collection. Or it might take a pretty penny to, to get it out of my collection so anyway let me know if you like this half as much as i like it leave a comment let me know if you like this one or if you just think i'm weird because i like it and as always if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe subscribe button we're almost at 300 that's my next goal it's 300 i think we're at 295 so Help me get to 300. And as always, thanks for watching.